Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A little life update for you. I recently broke my foot and I have this really heavy cast on right now. I can't even bring it high enough to show you guys. But um, it's still in a lot of pain. So just letting you guys know now that the next few couple months, month or two, hopefully it doesn't take that long to recover. This is my first time ever breaking anything. But I guess this during this time, Eric and I can film some more My Boyfriend Sews episodes. I know a lot of you have been asking for that series to come back. But also let me know down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions on videos I can make during this time. Today's video is going to be really exciting because it is my first DIY maternity dress video and it's for Eric's sister-in-law, New. If you guys didn't know, maternity dresses can be really expensive and it's hard to find a style that you actually like and that shows off the baby bump nicely in photos so the style dress that new likes is one that is fitted over the bump down to the thighs and then flares out towards the bottom and she also really likes the color ivory so i thought i would look in my thrifted closet first to see if there was anything that i could just transform for her i don't know if you guys remember this dress from one of my thrifted quick fix and festival lookbooks from two years ago but in that video i mentioned that the material of this dress was getting really worn out and there's already a bunch of holes in it so this seemed like the perfect opportunity to find give it a new life. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fashion and let's get started. To get started, I first had new try on the dress to see what we have to work with in case there was some way we could still keep the original dress. But no, because it does stretch out over the baby bump, the holes in the dress are more apparent and the length of it is way too short so it will look kind of funny. I ended up having to buy new fabric to replace the dress underneath and made sure it stretched in four ways to allow room to grow and so that it feels comfortable. To make things easy, I used one of New's bodycon dress to trace and this actually isn't a maternity dress, it's just a size bigger, so any bodycon dress that fits you will work. I had her wear the bodycon dress and mark the top of the bump, bottom of the bump, and above the knees where the flare would start. I don't think marking the bump was really necessary, but it was nice having it there to reference. Once you have your markings, go ahead and trace half of the dress on a big piece of paper and make sure to mark a straight line down the center front. After half of the dress is traced, find the marking where the flare starts and decide how much you want the skirt to flare out at the bottom. What I did was draw a straight line down to the bottom from that marking and then from the bottom I moved over 3 inches on both sides to create the flare. Then connect the bottom diagonally up to the top marking and curve out the hem. There should be 4 pieces total for the dress, 2 front sides and 2 back sides. Once they're all cut, face the two front pieces right sides together and sew down the center front. Then do the same thing for the back side. I'm only sewing with a basting stitch right now until I've made all my alterations. Now you have one full front piece and one full back piece and can sew them right sides together along the shoulder and side seams. Next, I have Neutra on the dress and make sure it's fitted nicely around all her curves. While the dress is on, I had her wear the original dress over it so I can mark out the shape of the neckline in the front and back. After my final alterations have been made, I can trim away the excess fabric and seam rip all the pieces apart to use them as pattern pieces to cut out the lining. I didn't buy enough of the same fabric for the lining, so I just picked up a lighter color fabric from Joanne. I think total, if I were to get enough for the lining and the outer dress, I would have needed 6 yards of fabric. For the lining, I just cut the same dress pieces out and can now officially sew the dresses together with a stretch stitch and a stretch needle. 
It's important to use the right needle for your fabric because I originally tried sewing with a ballpoint needle and it was skipping stitches, but after I bought a new kind of stretch needle, it started sewing correctly. But don't just use whatever I'm mentioning, it's important to test out different needles and stitch settings to see what works best for you and your machine. Next, I removed the lace from the original dress and pinned it along the new neckline of the outer dress and base stitched them together. I also wanted to mention that the original dress had a zipper in the back, but I ended up closing up the entire backside since she can just slide the dress over her head to put it on. Then we can go ahead and sew the lining on by sandwiching the lace in the middle and sewing it right sides together using a stretch stitch to permanently hold all three layers together. After turning the dress inside out, understitch the lining so that it stays underneath. Lastly, hem all the raw edges around the armholes and bottom of the skirt, and we're finished. my first time making a maternity dress and I thought it turned out great but if I were to do this all over again I wouldn't give the lining dress a center seam because it showed through the top and because of that we had to make sure that both seams of the dress were lined up and there weren't like two lines going down her belly <laughs> also when working with light colored stretchy fabric it will end up being a little transparent still so knew how to wear a nude slip underneath just to be safe I hope this video was helpful and inspires you to take something old and transform it into something new. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fashion and I'll see you next time.
Bye.